So let's. Anyways, cheers, 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 cheers. All right. So today, we're going to be talking about grocery stores, especially how they compare to the USA. Yeah, I would like to talk about that. Yeah. Uh. So I think I I want to I want to take charge. Go for and it. And just like you know, jump right into the subject. So one thing that I notice about grocery stores. And it's a big difference between mm-hmm. this the grocery stores here and uh, grocery stores in America. Is American grocery stores are one stop shops. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, um, you think of like the big chain stores. Yeah. So like, when I think of that, I think of uh, you guys have Safeway back in the East Coast, right? No, we don't. Is that Safeway all? Safeway is a Coast? Western Coast thing. I know. I didn't know about Safeway until. Oh my God, Kroger's. Yeah. Kroger's. Kroger is Midwest. Okay. We don't have we, Kroger's in in Boston. We might as well just live in different countries. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Basically, <laughs> basically, yeah. Oh no, no, because it's funny. Because when I went to when I when I went to Kentucky, yeah. and I would go east, and I was yeah. like, "Holy crap! These grocery stores have gas stations too." Yes. Why? Because that doesn't exist where I live. Really? Yeah. So let's talk about West I'm, Coast grocery stores. Okay, so I lived in the civilized world, <laughs> and uh, so grocery stores. <laughs> Grocery stores back back in Seattle in the um, in the civilized world. Yes, in the Jerk. civilized world, the the good part of the U.S. Okay, <laughs> I'm just joking, man. No, I know. There's some cool things about Boston a couple or whatever things. backwoods you rural know, you, area you're from. Just 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 get on with it, man. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. So so when you go to a grocery store, yeah. Um, there there will be uh like you mentioned a gas station. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a real big thing. Like pretty much every like. Mm-hmm major grocery mm-hmm. store will have a gas station out. Yeah. Um in addition to that, uh many of them often will have like uh car repair places yeah, you yeah. can go to like buy new tires. Yeah. Um and they will have uh kind of smaller shopping areas mm-hmm. that you once you go inside you can buy like clothes and yeah. house supplies and stuff. So it's not specifically yeah. a grocery store. It's kind of like an all in one yeah. just shopping. They also area. have pharmacies, right? Yes. In their team, yes. right? Yeah. They almost always have pharmacies. Yeah. That's that's another big thing. And it, the, the the idea behind it is like, okay, well, if you have everything in one place, you don't have to drive yeah. and go to something. Yeah. Uh, or go to a whole bunch of different areas. So yeah. it's just inconvenient. Yeah. And but that's not the case here in Japan. Mm-hmm. A grocery store here is a grocery store. Yeah. You go there to get food. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. That's all that's there. Yeah. Um, so it's a real big difference. Yeah, it's funny. Even when even when I would go to Niigata, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it would still be very much just like that. It's just the food, maybe some like kitchen utensils or yeah. like everyday items, but it's yeah. not like on the stage stage of like to the level of Fred Meyer or Safeway or Kroger. Yeah. Like I, you know, I was just amazed when I went to like my first Fred Meyer. Like I had to, I had to, um, I remember going to Fred Meyer in, uh, in Redmond, Washington. Yeah. And it was giant. It was like Ikea. Yes. Huge. Yes. And just like the ceilings are so high. The aisles are so wide and they had like furniture you could buy. Yeah. With the gas station and the farm, like at least in the East coast, we have pharmacies attached to our our grocery oh, stores. Cute. You guys are evolving. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> I like this dynamic, but whatever, man. We're the we're the OGs. You know, you know it's kind of funny. Uh, I don't know why this reminds me. Of, so I have um, my my dad's from Oregon. Okay, and he's from rural Oregon, like okay. Salem, which is really Salem. like old fashioned. I'm from small Salem town. too, just on the other side. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Um, and uh, I always used to I always used to think like back when I was a kid. And uh, we, we, so we used to go like every Christmas to mm-hmm. visit my dad's family mm-hmm. in Oregon. But um, if you go to Portland mm-hmm. and if you go to, or if you've been, well, mm-hmm. you, I mean, you lived in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, there's a big difference between Portland and Seattle. And what I mean by that is Portland itself, the city is, mm-hmm. is pretty updated, but as soon as you get out of the city, mm-hmm. it's like taking a time machine. Really? You, you you'll go like 15 20 years in the mm-hmm. past and it's just the amenities that mm-hmm. you're or at least that i was used to mm-hmm. in seattle um you just didn't see mm-hmm. stuff like, like what uh small stuff like uh like um you, you know best buy yeah, yeah right so the electronic store uh that was like a new concept mm-hmm. like 20 okay. years ago yeah yeah in in oregon and i yeah, was yeah. just like oh my god <laughs> yeah um so you kind of get that here too mm-hmm. and um 
in the, in the same way of amenities that I that I was used to because mm-hmm. I'm used to these one stop shops. Yeah, yeah. Um, it feels very inconvenient for me to go places. Um, yeah, like you don't want to go to multiple places. You just want to go to one place yeah, and get yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, there's there's a couple stores that are like that mm-hmm. here. I don't know. Do you do you have like a life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so yeah, there's life nearby. Yeah. So. Yeah. I've I've noticed and and it's just popped up in the past mm-hmm. couple of years, mm-hmm. but they're starting to transition. Yeah, for sure. Over to that here, um, and you no gas stations yet. No gas stations yet. Eventually, eventually, yeah. Japan, you'll switch over to cars and you'll <laughs> pollute just as much as America does. Yeah. Um. But uh, but it's 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 really nice because I'll be mm-hmm. able to go and you know when I go to life, it's they still don't have pharmacies, mm-hmm. but um they have more amenities there. Mm-hmm. In in the in the sense that like I can still get uh over the over the counter mm-hmm. uh, medicine and mm-hmm. I can get utensils and and stuff like that. Yeah. Um. But before the, before that cropped up, it's like I'd have to go to the grocery store yeah. and then. I have to go, you know, like another five minutes away to the mm-hmm. pharmacy. Oh, oh, yeah. whoa! I got. I want to get some clothes yeah. now. I got to go to the train station where the clothing departments are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and there's like all these different places yeah. you got to go. Yeah, I mean, like, so one thing that really surprised me about um, grocery stores mm. is that grocery stores are places you visit three or four times a week here. Yeah. Whereas in the states, it's more like you visit once a week. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I remember, like, cause in in the states, right? When you when you go to the grocery store, you have these giant carts that you can like lie in if you like yeah. crawl up. You can you can get in them, right? Yeah. But then it was really cute, cause in Japan they had you know in the, in the states they have those little baskets little, too. Little baskets. That's yeah. the shopping cart. Yeah, here. <laughs> yeah. But they they have like the shopping carts are like the wheeled holder things for your basket. You take a basket, yeah. you put it in, and then you can drive. You can like push it around. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was just it's just funny because like I feel like especially. Of course, in, in the States, you have a lot of nice produce stuff. But when I see people buying things in the States, a lot of it is like boxed, processed stuff that can last a long time because they yeah. go once a week. But like here, when I see all these people going out, like most of the time when I look at their their baskets, it's full of like fresh vegetables yeah. and like stuff that's going to go bad soon, you know? So yeah. it's like really, the grocery store is almost like a three four times a week kind of thing yeah it's 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 basically a daily process yeah like you know you get off work here and then on your way home you'll swing by the grocery store and get food for the day yeah um yeah it's very much like that i think um it's it's kind of interesting i I mean this just comes with you know japan and america being Mm -hmm. two different places in the world but it's very interesting what is affordable like Mm -hmm. what i'm affordable is not the right word cheap Mm-hmm. like what's yeah. cheap here compared to what's cheap in the u.s yeah um like if you come here in japan and you go into the grocery store you will find that many fruits are outrageously expensive yeah and it's all because it's all japan made yes you know yeah uh so just for an example right if i want to buy strawberries yeah in the U.S., like, dude, you could get, like, a crate of strawberries, like, well, I- at least in Seattle. Like, yeah. Uh, you can get, like, a crate of strawberries off of some fruit vendor on the street for, yeah. like, I don't know, like, five bucks. Yeah. And you get, like, you get more strawberries you than you lot. can eat before yeah. they go bad. Yeah, yeah, Um, But here in Japan, if yeah. you want to buy, like, a small little thing of strawberries mm-hmm. that's, like, like barely bucks. feeds two people. Yeah, yeah. it's, like, $15, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, and, and the fruit are, fruits really, really expensive yeah. here. Um, but on the flip side, there's a lot of, uh, vegetables here that are super cheap. Yeah. Super, super cheap. One of those is cabbage. Yes. Like if I were to go to, J- if I were in the States, cause I remember I would do okonomiyaki parties yeah. in uh, Seattle because I had a lot of Japanese exchange students come over Yeah, and one cabbage would be like five or $6 because, mm. because in, in the States, vegetables go by weight yes but in japan they go by like number right yeah so like in japan one cabbage is two dollars yeah like that's the price one apple is two dollars yes it's not it's not according <laughs> to like weight yeah you know which makes a lot more sense to me but yeah it does get expensive like one one um watermelon the size of my head would be 20 bucks here yeah you know yeah but i do i do have to say one thing that's really interesting for me though is even in supermarkets, I feel like people take a lot more 
pride in the produce because they、mm. will tell you where in Japan it was made. Yeah. And like one thing that's also very interesting is, is I noticed this actually more when I went to supermarkets in Niigata when I was visiting Natsumi's parents. Niigata is famous for growing vegetables, right? Well, mainly rice. Oh, mainly but, rice. But no, but when I would, when I would look at, like, for example,、um, grapes, which are super expensive here. Yeah. So they would have like different types of grapes, but they would, they had like a sweetness level that was like, that was like, oh, really? Like they'll say the sweetness level is five out of 10 or、yeah. seven out of 10. But it's like, it's a specific like chemical measurement system that they use to show you how sweet these are. And of course, the sweeter they are, the more expensive they are. Oh, interesting. But it's just like, I, I would never see that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think、States. anyone would care. Like, yeah, I've, I've never. I've never been at the grocery store in the US and been like, oh my God, this is Nebraska grown corn. Yeah. This is, this is the good stuff. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like if your potatoes are made from Idaho or if they're made from somewhere else,、Who、it doesn't、cares? matter. They're potatoes, right? <laughs>、yeah. but, it's, but here, even so, it's like, like I also noticed that with,、um, with uh, the meat too. Yes. It's、so、like when you look、so、at the I, meat. I have seen that. Yeah. 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 So it's funny because it, it always says, like, I went and I got some beef, right?、Mm. And they had. Be from Australia. And it's funny, on the label that the supermarket prints out, it'll say in big letters, it's Japanese, it's Australian, yes. Yes. it's American. And then if it's Japanese, they'll tell you what prefecture、yeah. it comes from. So I am very strict、yeah. about dairy products.、Okay. I always get my dairy products from Hokkaido areas. Okay. Because that's Hokkaido is famous for like、yeah. cheese and、mm-hmm. butter and milk and stuff.、Um, and I, I understand. From, from that sense,、mm-hmm. I understand why, because I've, I've tried、mm-hmm. products from other areas and there, there is a difference. Yeah. There is a difference.、Um, so I'm sure it's the same with like the vegetables and everything、yeah. too. It's like, you know, you have your prefecture and it's、mm-hmm. famous for growing this, and turns out they're pretty good at doing that. Yeah. 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 It's just, it's funny how it's like, you know, like I know Washington is very famous for cherries and apples, right? Yes. But in, in Boston, I have seen rainier cherries. But I've never seen like apples from Washington State. Really? Like, no one has really advertised that. That's so funny because、uh, Washington supplies like, it's an outrageous statistic. It's like、yeah. 80% of the, the country's apples. Yeah, or it's、something. huge. Like, when、yeah. I went to Seattle and I saw all the apple production in、yeah. Washington State, I was like, wow, this is amazing. But yeah. but yeah, in the States, people don't really care. They see it more as like a commodity.、Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about、know? that. Yeah. Yeah. They just probably don't advertise it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, those were kind of the, the big things for me was like, Um, everything is kind of labeled by the prefecture,、yeah. and also the vegetables and the fruits are, li- are priced according to unit,、yeah. not according to weight. Yeah. But was there anything else when you came to supermarkets that you were surprised about?、Um, I think,、uh, I mean, it's okay. So, so we, we, kind of, we kind of talked about the fact that.、Um, That supermarkets are kind of designed to be used、mm-hmm. on a more like a more daily basis.、Mm-hmm. And then、uh, American restaurants, or、uh, sorry, American supermarkets are designed kind of like a more a weekly thing.、Mm-hmm. And American restaurants have prepared. American supermarkets. Or, sorry, I keep saying restaurants. I'm a little drunk now. It's okay. American supermarkets、uh, have prepared meals. Yeah. But. Not at the extent that Japanese markets do.、Oh, yeah. You can get the prepared bento meals. Yeah, right. And、um, Japan is like really, really refined、mm-hmm. when it comes to bento. Yeah. Like, there is, if you go to the bento section on any supermarket here,、yeah. it is a pretty sizable chunk、yeah. of the supermarket、mm-hmm. that's dedicated to this area. And there is a huge variety、mm-hmm. of stuff that you can get. Yeah. You can get all vegetarian, you can、mm-hmm. get、uh, rice, no rice, you can get meat, you can get fish, you can get all these different types of bento. Yeah. And、uh, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah, like, they I would are say pretty good. Quali- like, because when I think of、uh, going to an American supermarket and getting a prepared meal,、mm-hmm. it's kind of garbage. It is pretty garbage. Every, everyone knows it is. Yeah. You're, you're going there for convenience. Yeah. Right. And our audio, our video just got cut out, and we were just playing with my son for about five minutes. <laughs> Yep. It's great. It、Wonderful. was a good time. So, we were talking about supermarkets, but do you remember what we were talking about? No. Yeah, I don't remember either. So, let's, <laughs> let's, so I asked、um, my wife about things that she was interested in, things that surprised her about American、yeah. supermarkets. 
And one thing that I forgot to mention that is really true is just the variety of cereals. Oh, man. You know, uh, cereal is a very serious business in America. Yeah, big time. Um, I think I think most Americans eat cereal for breakfast every day. Yeah. And uh like man, if you if you get a chance to go to well, I mean, obviously you're American, but yeah. I mean, I'm people listening to this, if you if you get a chance to to visit the US and go into a supermarket, even if it's just a local market, yeah, you go down the cereal aisle and it is an entire <laughs> aisle dedicated yeah. to cereal. Yeah. It's like oatmeal is on one side, cereal is on the other yeah. side. There's literally, literally a hundred kinds. Yeah, and there, it's it's crazy, and it's um, you know, you compare that to here in Japan, and you go to a, you go to a supermarket here in Japan, and yeah. it's like usually like a small little section of an aisle. Yeah, is the cereal. There's like section. five kinds there's of like, cereal, granola or whatever. Yeah, it's like granola, some kids sugar brand, and I don't know, frosted yeah. flakes. But in Japan. But in the States, it's like, so that's one thing. So being born in, um, in Germany, mm -hmm. you know, do they have it there? Yeah. There's, there's a decent amount of cereal and muesli and granola and stuff, but mm -hmm. not to the state that you have in the States. Like I remember coming to the States and just facing the wall of cereal <laughs> yeah. thinking, holy crap, I'm in heaven. Yeah. This is great. And yeah. so like, I grew up on honeycomb and like oh. Cheerios and, and like, was it Lucky Charms? Those were good For me, too. it's Raisin Bran. Dude, you're so. Are you like 80 years old or something? <laughs> I love raisin bran. Don't make fun yeah. of me for it. Don't worry, don't worry. I I like grape nuts. Honey now. bunches of oats. Honey bunches of oats. Those are so good. Man, I wish they had those here because I get yeah. those whenever I go to the states. Yeah, but but yeah, it's just it's funny because it's like when I remember when I was like eight or nine and I moved here. I'm mean, not here. I moved to the states. Yeah, I would get Reese's puff cereals, honeycombs. <laughs> you and make fun of me for being 80 years old. What are you? It's seven? No, no, no. But Reese's Puffs are like our <laughs> chocolate and peanut butter, dude. That's oh my like God. amazing. It's built for like kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then what was it? And um, and I remember seeing on the on the TV they had Cookie Crisp, which were like mini cookies that yeah. they would have. And my mom was like, "No, that's a step too far. You can't do that." <laughs> See, for me, when it came to sugar cereals, I was yeah. all about Captain Crunch. Oh, Captain Crunch! Is I really loved good. Captain Crunch, yeah. but it it destroyed the inside of your mouth. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey. I, I just imagine the developers for Captain Crunch is like, you know, we used to sell sandpaper yeah. and now we're in the cereal industry. How can we make that transition without, yeah. you know, going away from something we're accustomed to? Yeah. And then Captain Crunch was made. Yeah. And, but it's, <laughs> it's funny because it's like, you know, when, when a lot of people think about uh, traditional, not traditional, but like a modern day, everyday Japanese breakfast. Yeah. Like... It's actually just a slice of toast, really thick toast, right? Yeah. That's... But it, in the States, it's cereal yeah. or oatmeal, right? Yeah. So it's, of course, like in in the States where everyone has cereal for breakfast, that's that's huge. But you don't really have that here Yeah. very much. Yeah, toast is definitely, and I think um, it's reflected, or that, that change has reflected uh, Japan's mm -hmm. uh, bread industry. Yeah. Because like... I mean, if you go to if you go to an American supermarket, they've got like a a lot of different brands of bread. Yeah, yeah, but you have like a whole wall. It's a whole wall, yeah. right? Um, but if you go to a supermarket here, they have a similar thing, but instead of different brands, it's like different kinds of bread. Yeah, and the bread industry here is very serious. Yeah, like there's there is some like really really high quality breads that you yeah. can buy here, and it's it's really good actually. Like yeah. man, I love. Something that I, I don't understand, because uh, we never I never saw it in American supermarkets. They have those really thick sliced yeah. toasts or toasts. Toast, toast, toast. Yeah, they have the really. I'm a native English speaker. I yeah, promise. It's, it's okay. Um, they have the really thick cut. The, the bread. thick cut bread, and it's so good, man. You pop mm -hmm. that. And, I mean, you, and a lot of the time it doesn't even fit in a toaster, so you got to yeah. put it in the oven. Yeah. Oh man, you cook that and put some butter on yeah. it. That yeah, it's good. it's funny because it's like in the states, right? You'll have lines and lines and lines and lines and lines of these, like sliced bread yeah. brands yeah. that have whole wheat, white, or maybe mixed with raisins or some stuff like that, right? Mm. But in Japan, a lot of the shokupan, the toast, is like really thick, and you couldn't yeah. fit it in a traditional toaster. Yeah, and I remember coming to Japan. The first thing I thought when I saw breakfast was, "Why is the bread so thick?" 
Mm. But I understand why, because it just tastes so much better now. It's so much better. It's so yeah. much better. Um, and it is very filling, so I understand why. Well, we, we've talked about yeah, this. We've talked you about talked that, about yeah. how crazy you think it is. Uh, you're always hungry after eating. Dude, I'm, dude it's just, for me, it's like empty carbs. I just, yeah, I, mean, I, is, I like having eggs and meat, and then I, yeah. feel, I feel full. But yeah, I've, I've got a bit of routine. So yeah. every, every time I have breakfast, I eat two boiled eggs. Okay. And this, this, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I have two routines. I okay. have weekend routine and mm-hmm. I have work routine. Okay. My work, work routine that I kid you not every single day, mm-hmm. I have two hard boiled eggs. Mm-hmm. A coffee and a black chocolate bar, black like chocolate dar- dar- bar, like the, the the darkest chocolate that I okay. can get. Wow! And usually it's like categorized; it just says black chocolate. Okay. Um, and uh, so I have the two hard boiled eggs, and then I have my dark chocolate bar and my coffee, and that's okay. that's my that's my routine. And then my weekend routine is the typical modern Japanese oh, slice toast? of toast and a yeah. coffee. Okay. Ah, uh, God, I love that so much. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's funny because like for me, when I think about what I eat for breakfast, so I guess this started because when I first came to Japan, I had $10,000 saved up and I was like, what, a 22-year-old me, I have $10,000 saved up. Whoa, I'm rich. This yeah, is Yeah, I was going to say, man, I, I came here with like four grand. I was like, yeah. I can't even imagine 10. I know, I because I, um, I also... I also got a scholarship that paid for my basic living expenses for oh, the whole okay. year. Like okay. it, that was when I knew I actually tried to, I actually applied to come to Japan four times and was rejected three times. Really? And then the last time I got this huge scholarship. Yeah. And that's when I realized that was the time to go. And it was good. Cause I met my future wife there, you know, Yeah, that's great. But, um, but yeah, so I, I partied like crazy. I got a house, I got an apartment and that 10,000 became 3000 in one month. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah, so then I was like, holy crap, I need to work now and I, I don't have very much money. So I tried to get the cheapest thing I could. So what I yeah. ended up doing was I ended up having like a bowl of rice with some natto, some shredded cabbage and a small block of tofu. Like that was my morning breakfast every and, an, and, a, and a fried wow. egg every morning. And still today when I want to really get into it, that's what I eat in the really? mornings. But my my wife also likes toast, so sometimes I'll just eat the toast that's yeah. left over, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, for... It's it's kind of funny. Yeah. Uh, I think um, you, you mentioned rice, and I, I, want, I feel like I, I'm obligated to talk about this subject because Japan's very serious when yeah. it comes to rice. Yeah. So if you go to... Um, if you go to the uh, rice section mm-hmm. here in the supermarkets... Um, they will tell you, not only will they tell you which prefecture are, but um, maybe this is just me kind of adding my own story to mm-hmm. this. So maybe it's, I'm a little exaggerating, but I feel like they really make an emphasis for mm-hmm. highlighting rice that's not grown in Japan. Yeah. Like the, there, there's like a really big, like, this is not Japanese rice mm-hmm. and this is Japanese rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Big time. Yeah. Um. And there's 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 kind of a really heavy bias here where mm-hmm. it's like um, a lot of Japanese people I know they they will not eat yeah. non Japanese rice. Yeah, well, I mean, so it's it's funny because like within even Japanese rice, there are different brands. Mm. So like in Niigata is famous for its rice, right? So you, that's where Koshihikari comes from, which is like the big rice. Yeah. Um, the rice for um, Akita is Komachi, mm-hmm. I think, or something like that, and. Um, yeah, if you get like if you get J- Japan made rice, it's actually pretty expensive. Like, yeah, way more expensive than the state California yes. rice. Oh right? God, way more. Yeah, and yeah, you, you know what's funny for like this like nibui nanbanjin, like for me, like this this dull bar- barbarian that I am, <laughs> like I don't really care about the rice. So like I could eat American rice, is no problem. But now. Yeah. Natsumi's parents and gr- Natsumi's parents and grandparents own a rice field, oh. and every year, like I, since marrying Natsumi, I haven't had to pay for rice at all. <laughs> they send it to us in big bags. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're a little full. Yeah, still. yeah. I just filled up recently. Yeah. But um, it's it's amazing. So I'm getting this rice that would normally be like 50, 60 bucks for you're free. Spoiled man. Dude, yeah. And so when I go back to the States and I have rice, I can taste the difference now. What is this garbage? (laughs) This white cardboard? It's so sad. 
because I was happy with that before, and now it's like, no, I can't do that anymore. I, I, I can, I can kind of understand where you're coming from, because since living here, so I've, I, I buy mm-hmm. Japanese rice too, but yeah. I'm, I'm not getting the fancy Niigata rice. Yeah, yeah. I'm just getting the, you know, Futsu. Yeah, rice. yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, since coming here, uh, when I, when I was back in the U.S., um. We went to a Chinese restaurant, and okay. I got rice there. Yeah, and I remember eating the rice and thinking like how dry it was. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like the grains the grains are bigger. Yeah, and they're dry. Yeah, and um, it it almost kind of I I'm sure it didn't, but it, for for some reason it kind of tastes like soap. Okay. Do you, do you know what I mean? When I, I know what you mean, I think that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, like, so I don't know where that comes from. So, what we did, so one time we brought rice from Niigata. Yeah. And we tried it with California rice. We compared it, right? And so the, the California rice didn't have a shimmer to yeah. it. Like, like in Japanese, yeah. they call it tsuyatsuya, right? Yeah. So it's like, it doesn't retain water. Yeah. 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 So, no, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a very spongy. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. It sucks. I know. I know it's, it's funny because <laughs> it really it's like, does. It's like at first when Natsumi is like, "Oh yeah, I hate this rice." I'm like, "Oh come on, stop being such a, such like a, like a snob." Snob. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stop being such a snob. But now yeah. I've become the snob. Yeah, and it stinks because. Yeah. Yeah, like, I I could have gone with like my my five dollars <laughs> for like five kilos rice, and now it's like twenty dollars for five kilos rice. And when I get the cheap stuff, it's like, ugh. This tastes so bad. Yeah. No, you really, you really notice a huge yeah. difference. Um, one thing though that that really surprised me coming here, and also kind of in the states, right? Mm-hmm. That's different. Is in in Japan when people eat meat, mm. um, it's almost always very thinly sliced. And when I've tried to get similarly thinly sliced meat in the states, they can't go that. Thin. That's actually a really good point. I think um, when I think of the meat section, mm-hmm. oh, you know what? That's another thing we haven't talked about. Yeah, American supermarkets will have a butcher. Yeah, yeah, and them, and that's something that Japanese oh, right. And you can get your meat cut there, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, when when I mean, if you're going and getting something simple like a chicken breast or yeah. hamburger meat, like obviously that's put on display. But a lot of people will just go up to the butcher and like, hey, look, I'm looking for pork cutlet or I'm looking yeah, for I want this I, many, you know, whatever this weight of it. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, you can get that there. Um, but yeah, here in Japan, it's like for me, um, you know, uh, if I want to buy like a lot mm-hmm. of meat, like you don't, you, I have to go to Costco for it. Yeah. Like, for example, uh, if I wanted to get... Uh, like a pot roast mm-hmm. or something. I can't get that at a supermarket yeah, yeah, yeah. here. You you just can't get a big hunk. Yeah, of it's meat. all thinly sliced. Yes. Here. Yeah. Like the the most steak you can buy. I mean, you can buy like you know just normal steaks. Yeah. Right. But that's the biggest size of meat you'll get yeah. when it comes to pork and chicken. You it'll, it'll just be little chunks. Yeah. 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 Like I mean, you can get you can get a drumstick, you can get a breast, but mm. it's not like. Yeah, like in the states where it's like, oh, I want this weight of this thing. You don't really have that. Yeah. Here and also, yeah. just want to say, speaking of of that too, cheese is like non-existent here. <laughs> it is and it isn't. Yeah. Um. So it depends on where you are. Okay. So, uh, but I will I will preface this by saying that no matter where you are in Japan, you can get quality cheese here, mm-hmm. but it's not going to be cheap. Yeah, dude, they'll yeah. have like five crumbles of Parmigiano Reggiano for like yeah. fifteen bucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, because when I was in Oita, yeah, Oita's uh pretty famous um for having dairy farms. Oh, really? Yeah, they've got quite a few dairy farms down okay. there, and uh, we were able. So I actually brought cheese back from there. Really? Can, um, I, can I have some? Yeah, yeah. I'll bring okay, it. I'll bring okay. it. Uh, well. Make, I'll try to save some for you. I'll, I'll come. O- I'll come <laughs> over. I'll help you clean up. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah. You can help me. I'll that. try and save some for you. But um, yeah. So uh, when we were down in Oita, they mm-hmm. they would have a section in the dairy section that yeah. was like local cheeses from the dairy farms there, mm-hmm. and um, so you could get some pretty high quality cheese. But even 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 then, it wasn't 
that cheap. Yeah. It was cheaper than you get in Tokyo. So for example, like I picked up some like smoked cheddar mm. and some pepper jack. Pepper jack. Man, I so I will tell you, smoked cheddar and pepper jack are my two favorite flavors okay. of cheese. You mm. cannot find pepper yeah, jack cheese. Yeah, you can't. Here. I love pepper jack cheese and it drives me insane that I can't find it here. Yeah. But I was able to get some. Um, but the smoked cheddar I got about this size and okay. it was about eight hundred yen. Okay. But if I got the same size, because you can find smoked cheddar here, uh, it would be about almost double that. Yeah, 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 in Tokyo for sure. Yeah. Yeah, like when I go to the supermarket, they'll have something they call so like on the um on the nutrition facts area or like the ingredients yeah. list, they call it natural cheese. And yeah. natural cheese just basically means something made from milk. Yeah. And anything can be natural cheese. But like so when I go to the supermarket near my house, it's cheese or melty cheese. Yeah. But it's all the grated cheese. And they'll have mozzarella balls yeah. too, but that's about it as far as like real cheese goes. Yeah. But it's all this like shredded cheese, yeah. natural cheese. Like they'll advertise it's natural cheese. I'm like, what's unnatural cheese? That's what I want to know, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's like the options are so limited. Whereas even like yeah. so where I so where I grew up, there's a place called Market Basket, which is mm -hmm. Similar to, I think, like the Fred Fred Meyer chain where, okay. where you guys are. So big, big kind of all-in-one store. Yeah, big all-in-one store, and it's on the cheaper side of things. Okay. Um, and yet, th but they still had tons of different kinds of mm. cheeses there. But in Japan, it's like when I go to a supermarket here, it's like, oh, yeah, here are your six cheeses. Yeah. Good luck. I, I think uh, yogurt kind of falls into the same Yeah, deal. right? Yeah. Cause Dude, speaking about the amount of unflavored yogurt here. Yeah. It's so different from the States. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, I, I noticed that, um, in, in fact, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of flip that. It's, it's actually kind of difficult to find yogurt or flavored yogurt. Yeah. There's, there's just like, there, there'll be like a, a blueberry yogurt yeah. and a strawberry yogurt, and that's like it. Yeah. Whereas like in the U.S., uh, so for me, I, I hate flavored yogurt. Yeah, yeah. Um, but in the U.S., if you go there, it's like almost kind of difficult to find plain yogurt. Yeah, right. Um, like you really have to kind of like search for it in the yogurt section. Yeah. And uh, I, I find that really relieving, actually, because yeah. like I said, I, I don't like flavored yogurt. Mm -hmm. I like plain yogurt because yeah. I don't want a lot of sugar in my yogurt. And that's, that's a relief. Yeah. On the flip side of that, my favorite yogurt is Greek yogurt. Yeah. I love Greek yogurt and that is really hard, hard to, to get. Find. It's 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 hard to find and then when you find it it's expensive. Yeah. However, I've 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 learned how to make it myself. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Uh so you so uh strain it in cheesecloth, right? Yeah, so uh I'm Greek man, I know this stuff. Oh, fair, fair, <laughs> enough, fair enough. But yeah, my 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 coworker was explaining so he he puts it in like these clay bowls yeah. and has them sit out like each day and it takes about a day to cure and yeah. turn in. Uh but yeah, you be like pour milk in and yeah. anyways. Um so I'm going to start doing that this yeah. summer. That's my goal for yeah. the summer is to learn how to make Greek yogurt. Yeah, dude. Dude, so so speaking as like um just a question. So do you know what Lokaniko is? I, I've heard of the name, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what it means. That's the Greek sausage, basically. Okay. But, so, like, where I'm from, right? So, um, there are a lot of Greek immigrants. Okay. And um, the the store chain, Market Basket, which is, like, Fred Meyer, is, is owned by a Greek guy. Okay. And so, they have... Sometimes, they'll have, like, Greek food there, which is yeah. not really a big thing on the West Coast, because on the West Coast, there's a lot of Scandinavian people, yeah. whereas here, there's a lot of Italian... On the East Coast, there's a lot of Italians and Greeks. Yeah. But yeah, we we had Greek yogurt growing up, and really? it was always like a part of a part of our daily diet. Pretty much, well, my family's Greek, so like yeah. that. But yeah, recently it's coming up everywhere, and even in Japan, they have like this Parthenon, a Parthenon brand. But it's like this small amount that's like so expensive, and I just can't justify <laughs> oh, it. Oh man, yeah. So like, pretty much all the stuff that is pretty central to American diets is like. Um, like cheese, mm. yogurt, bread, even milk. Yeah, I would say they tend to be really expensive. Yeah, here, like yeah. even even in Japan, like it's actually hard to find. Um, low fat milk. Like I feel like mm. I feel like in the states, the the standard is one percent or two percent. Yeah, I was I was I I'm glad that you brought that up because I don't see. 
I don't see any any differentiating uh, labels mm-hmm. when it comes to milk. Like mm-hmm. there's there's there just isn't a thing of like one percent two percent milk here. It's like yeah. you have whole milk and it'll be like non fat milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get uh like soy milk and almond milk. And yeah, that, yeah, that's your options here. Yeah, but in the states it's like you'll have this giant two liter jug, and depending on the color, you'll know if it's yeah. whole milk or one percent or two percent or skim milk. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But dude, I got to tell you, I always drank one percent milk growing up, but coming to Japan and trying whole milk. I can't go back. No, you can't. <laughs> it, like, I, I, I'm not a milk drinker. Okay. I actually, I, I grew up liking milk, but for some reason, like yeah. when I became a teenager, I just, I can't stand it. And yeah. I, I'm actually lactose intolerant. Okay. Too, so that's probably yeah. partly to do with it. But when I drink milk, I can't drink anything other than whole milk. Yeah. It's so watery. It, it, yeah, it tastes like white water. <laughs> That's really, it's a, have you, do you know the show Parks and Recreation? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've seen it a couple uh, times. So there's, there's, there's a character on the show. His name is Ron Swanson. Yeah. And he's like, there's, there's only a few things I can't stand. And it's, uh, liars and, uh, skim milk <laughs> and skim milk is just water lying about being milk. Dude. And that's so true. That's what it is. Cause <laughs> there's no fat in yeah, it. Yeah. So there's no, the, you're, yeah, yeah. So it's the difference with whole milk. It's, yeah, oh, man, it's, it's kind of funny. Cause once, uh, so since, since I've moved here, yeah. Japan doesn't have a lot. You can still find really sugary things here, but they're, mm. you, you're not consuming as much sugar mm-hmm. here in Japan, just in general as you are in America. Mm-hmm. And so you kind of, if you make an effort to it, you get desensitized yeah. to sweet things. Yeah. And man, I'll tell you, when you drink whole milk mm-hmm. and you're kind of desensitized to sweet things, it like it kind of tastes like a milkshake. Dude, it's so good. It's it's really sweet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I totally get that. Like when when I went from one percent milk and I had whole milk here for the first time, I was thinking what the heck have I been drinking all these years? <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not even, this is like a dessert kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's funny because it's like, you know, Japan's known for being really healthy, but also at the same time, people advertise things having a lot of butter or things having a lot of cheese yeah. or, you know? Well, you know my opinion on that. I think yeah. butter and fat is very, very healthy. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're, as long as you're not eating a lot of sugar. Yeah. That's the big thing. I do. But it's probably a good... Good, uh, good area to kind of end it on. I think so. Actually, make myself hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about. We've already finished this too. So yeah, we've is... polished this off. Yeah, man. Well, it's been good. I'll talk to you next time. Oh man, this has been fun. Yeah. Yeah.